Hi everyone, it's Mike with Presentation Plus Ups. In this episode, I am going to show you a quick way to use full screen imagery to have a very powerful presentation effect. Let's get started. Welcome to Presentation Plus Ups. A great way to really plus up your presentation is the usage of full screen imagery as a texture, not only for a look, but also adding some motion to your overall presentation. Here is a quick way to do it with some very powerful tips. I'm gonna walk you through the steps and then we can get into the how to's if you wanna stick around. First of all, you can see right here, we have a nice full screen image on a slide. Now, as we move through this slide, what you're gonna see here as we step through it is that we're using the morph transition. So the first thing I I would recommend is that you set your slide transitions to more as a default you can always adjust away from it that'll give you this ability to have what i call free motion free animation from slide to slide as long as you have the same object persisting in this case we have a background image that is not on the slide master it's in the working normal view so we can animate it and bring it to life so that's the first thing that i would recommend the second thing is you want to insert an image and send it to the back of your slide content by doing so you have and again i'm stressing this is not not in the slide master this is in your working normal view now you can have that ability to change its size its scale give some three dimension type animation going for you right send it to the back that way all of your text in the front is there you notice there's a little bit of a drop shadow on this slide I will show you how to do that very quickly in the how to section third I want you to just adjust the transparency on your slides it's very easy to do we'll look at some tips on how to do that and last but not least, add some more slides and choose different layouts and have fun with it. Okay, so let's dive into how you do this very quick and efficiently so it doesn't burn up your entire day. So I'm gonna step out of the presentation mode here. And in fact, what I'm gonna do is just open up a brand new plain old blank presentation here. All right, so one of my tips I like to do is in the design section, I like to save some just real custom basic layouts, things where I've already configured the fonts, the color themes, and I can start from that as a clean batch. So I'm gonna select one of these that I've got. And when we go into the slide master view, you're gonna notice there's not a lot going on here. It's deceptively powerful what we have set up. So in this slide master, which is the top slide, you're gonna notice I've already set my theme fonts and I've got that set to a custom font and my colors I've got set to a custom color grid as well. We also have in the slide master, if we go to transitions, I've already set this default to morph and the duration to 1.25 and I have applied that to every one of these. So we've already have the default powerful animation effect set. We also have the fonts set with a bit of a drop shadow on them. So we can just go ahead and click this little S and that'll give a drop shadow. Now, if you have a black background, I really recommend going ahead and putting that drop shadow on as a default. Number one, no one will notice when you just are using a clean black background, but when you put an image on it, it'll immediately be readable. So as long as you have those two things set, we can go ahead and under the slide master, close it. You have the ability, if you right click any of these thumbnails, you can adjust your layout. So what I'm gonna do is just use a good old fashioned title only layout, something simple and clean. So we're going to insert an image. Now I have, you can go to insert pictures and from this device, or if you have already added that by right clicking it to your toolbar, you can go up and select here. So it saves you a click. So we've got an image, I'm gonna put this one in and with this this image, if you want to send it to the back, I recommend having your selection pane already set up here so it's a click away. If you need your selection pane under the arrange menu and you can hit selection pane. So you've got two ways to do it. I always leave this as a default. You can see it's really besides the save button, the number one button on my selection pane. It's an absolute go-to. All I need to do at that point is drag that picture below your image and you can resize it. Now, my favorite way to resize is to select an object and then hold shift and then up arrow. Now you also might notice I have my grids and guides set up here. So if I go under view and I go under the grids and guides, there's this little flyout panel. I have my grid set at a quarter inch and I have my object snapping to the grid. I've got that as a default. That means every little step I take on the plus and the minus and the up and downs 
it just moves your object faster. So that's another little tip on how to do that. Okay, so we've got an image there. You notice with that drop shadow, we're getting that nice clean readability already. This image doesn't have any transparency to it yet, but if we double click the image, it'll bring up the picture format and you'll notice there is a transparency section here. So this is great where it has some really just default transparency settings all the way down to 5% and everything beyond. If you wanna customize it, you can click the options and you can go ahead and drag them this way. But I think just a great way to do this as a default is double click that image and uh, just let's let's just set it right here, probably about a uh, almost 75% transparent. Okay, and then I'm gonna do one other trick here is so I'm gonna to go to artistic effects and I am going to give it a Gaussian blur. We go into show mode. You can see that's got a cool little arty effect to it. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to duplicate this slide. You can right click it and duplicate or you can select the slide and hit control D to duplicate. So at this point, all we would need to do is right click the slide and switch the layout to something we want. So in this case, everything I had in that slide master is set up here. And I, I don't like a lot of elaborate slide masters. I want it pretty clean because we're not gonna put a lot of objects in the slide master if we want to animate. Let's just go with a good old fashioned slide bullet. Point A, point B, point C, point D. Got that? What I'm gonna do at this point is I'm going to double click this slide. I want you to notice if I zoom this down a bit is that the image itself has some transparency to it. On this slide, I will go ahead and I'm going to turn off that Gaussian blur. So I'm going to go to artistic effects, turn that off. So we've got a nice clean slide and I'm going to change that transparency. Let's just adjust that to something a little bit more. Let's go into full screen mode and just advance that slide one time. You're going to already see you get a pretty cool effect with very little happening here. Just full screen imagery, we're moving to a different slide layout and we're getting a transparency to it. And if you want to jazz that up a little bit more, you can duplicate that slide, select the image, hit shift up arrow and move things around a bit and go, all right, let's see how this one looks. Blurry, now it's moving. So some real free effects that you can have here by just adjusting that slide. And if you want to go real crazy with this, you can duplicate. And as long as your image is holding up, have some fun with it in terms of where you're, you're bringing objects onto the slide. Yeah, in this case, we can really step this up a bit. Boom, boom. So it's looking good, it's nice and clean. We're having some fun with it. Adjusting the transparency and not being afraid to let that image go full screen is a great way to plus up your presentation. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Stay tuned for more bits of knowledge dropping every Thursday here on Presentation Plus Ups. Thanks so much and please make it a great day.